difference between about religious and spiritual preaching. See, I'm not about the uh, the tarot sort of horse cause really much, but knowing um me 823 1990, I use it in a positive way. You see, but in the Bible you have to be spiritual, not religious. First of all, Jesus was not a religious person. He's spiritual. First of all, two, you see, this is what I want to tell you guys. There's some preachers out there, yes, I mean, yes, we all preach to have our different ways of preaching. God said, I'm a fisherman, a fisher of men. Yeah, I hear the real people in. But you see, people have more views than I do. But there's some people that came from darkness, came from preaching all that. You see, but me, I stay consistent with God. Maybe I backslid, of course. I admit I am not perfect. I never said to claim to be I was perfect or to be claimed I am God. It's not that I claim to be God. But a lot of people, when they preach and they say they found Jesus or something, you could tell they're trying to condemn you or trying to beat you up for what you believe in. And that's the wrong thing to do. When you sin, he said it's wrong that those stones, period, truth is truth. It's in the Bible. You cannot those stones if you sin too. You cannot clean up the specks of the brother's eyes if your eyes are just as well dirty. Okay, but you see, the thing is, I know I'm clean. I, I, I mean... I start, look, I don't I don't lust. I don't watch porn. I haven't watched it. I stay consistent with God. I have a relationship with God. I read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I am saved by salvation. I am a spiritual person. I I, I welcome you know what I'm saying, I welcome God only. You know what I'm saying? I might hear a lot of what people say. Yes, I take it in because I hear it. But I never limit my God. He's the God of gods. Anyways, he's the Lord of lords. So regardless of what you people think, you know, saying I have a belief too, like everyone else has a belief. But when people talk, okay, they could talk. I absorb the thing without judging. Okay, they, oh, you're going to hell for this. Or are you going to hell for that? You see what I mean? There's a difference. See, when you really think about it, though, what God, no one knows God. Personally, that's why we all meet up to him. Nobody does know the truth. Nobody really knows besides God. And everyone could say that they know the truth, but really, are you uh, the truth? Because, listen, you don't have to listen to me. I don't expect people to listen to me because they really don't. I might have the little very following. But in regards to everything, but, but we all sin. We all need Jesus. We all need God. And that's straight up. Straight and simple. What we do wrong is what we do wrong. We all need God simple straight as that. I don't condemn you and say you're going to hell because, oh, you simply, oh, you just, oh, you watch porn, you're going to hell. Or you doing this, oh, remember your first love, remember this love. No, what about you? You sin too. Outside of on and off social media. You sin too. You have a sin too. So you became perfect overnight. There's only one perfect person, and that's God. And he's not even a person though. But what I'm saying is, there's only one perfection, and that's God. There's no servant, nobody greater than God. But you can tell that some people like to preach, and they think, and it's, I, I feel it. I see it. I'm a spiritual person. You know what I mean? I'm not hateful or being hateful. It's just being truthful. It is what it is. It's as simple as that. I'm not here to deceive you. Yes, we. you must read the truth, the Bible, biblical. You must go ahead and have a relationship. Don't lack prayer. Never lack prayer. I don't do that. I don't lack prayer. But a lot of people say, because say I'm fake, a lot of people could say that. But they can never get me mad like that. They will never beat me off guard because guess what? All my life, I follow Christ. And that's straight up. So I'm just saying though, when you start to wake up and you start to see, I know it's our ending days, but at the end of the day, 
I'm not going to hear and say, oh, pe people's pe people's hope up and then tear them down the same as that day. Like I'm walking on eggshells. You really can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I have the every right to do whatever the case may be. I'm not doing tarot cards or whatever the case may be. But yes, you know what? A lion and angel. Guess what? He's ta he talked about he made creatures of God. So you know what? I don't know who I am. So being that spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, God is limitless. He never know what he might want me to be. But I know if I am in the righteous, you know what I'm saying? Who's the king of kings? The Lord, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know what I'm saying, animals, you know what I'm saying, lions are the king of animals, but you know what I'm saying, but, you know, God is all my God, everyone has the belief, everybody has this and that, but I, there's only one God, understand that, only one God, that's it, I can't have fun, it's called free will, don't mean I'm preaching it. Don't mean I'm teaching about horoscopes. I don't even know about horoscopes. I just know about my birthday because I'm a Leo and Virgo cusp. If you want to go talk about that. 823. But am I welcome in? No. I will always put God first. I know Jesus died for our sins. He died for the cross. Whatever case may be. I'm not talking about white Jesus. So I'm not talking about black Jesus. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about God who created all, focused on the storm through all. That's how my relationships have always been. But I have a free will to be fun, have fun, and play with it. You know, some not with the scriptures or anything. Does it play with my life? I have a testimony of manifestation. At least I'm not going there looting, stealing, robbing this and that but you know like i said it is a sin is a sin and guess what you judge my perfection but how we're we gonna have some fun if you think you're perfected if you're perfection how are you gonna beat somebody up for being perfection you can't you can't beat them up and yeah you wake up but we all fall in line at the same time understand exactly what i mean and everybody always over here trying to judge me everything i do or talking about how big you are how bad you are or how lazy you don't even know nothing about my life you know what? If you were about a church, how come I every time I would go where somewhere and I'm not welcome? That's not how love works. Love the God works to be around people. No revelation, but uh, be around the fellowship. But since it's been any times, people are there for themselves and being selfish. And being boastful about themselves. I'm not making it about myself. I'm trying to unite in God. There's a difference. I'm not here to say I'm following this person or that person. I'm not doing that. I look for fellowship, and that's the only reason I come in. But you got to teach it right, though. I'm not here to continue. I'm not saying, oh, yo, you're not perfect. You're going to hell. You got demons over you. you you're casting them into me. If you're not listening to me, I hear to cast them out. I pray for it. I pray for that, you know what I'm saying, they all come out. There's a difference. I don't need bright lights or fancy lights. I don't need none of that. But you know what? If God wants me to do that, I will do that. Because guess what? At the end of the day, I know what's inside of me. I know Jesus of the flesh. I know that God is, you know, the Holy Spirit. You know what? I'm guided by him all my life. Ain't nobody taking my faith away. I've been finding for a long, long time. Ain't nothing evil coming out of my mouth or being bitter. It's called being bold, firm, courageous, forgetting, genuine, kind of mindset. All the way, all the way through to keep him in your head. To keep in your mind, to keep in your heart. I do know my first true love. There ain't nobody telling me any different. But a lot of people attack me a lot of different ways. But I'm the only one now say abortion is wrong or serving the man and God. And at the same time, you can't really do that. Um, you know what I'm saying? I've been saying this, what was going to happen with the the You know what I'm saying? But it's not me saying too. It's God preached to me. But I have a, a human of free will, a human right to have a free will. As long as I don't boast about it, as long as I'm not here, you know, talking, you know, ranting about it, flaunting, whatever the case may be, flaunting with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not deceiving them, but we all will lead to him. But at the end of the day, you can't beg. You got to continue building that ark. You know what I'm saying? We're in those time of days. Noah's no, day of Noah. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, though, we're not all. We, we, no, you can't keep stitching up like that. No, a lot of people have been saying that. But I've been saying this for the longest about whores and whoremongers and all of that. But I stick right with God. Ain't nobody going to tell me different. Now, since you, you know, what I'm saying a lot of people put things on me, they haven't even seen me one time in their life to see what I put up here. But some of them like a lot of people to hate. 
But the truth is the truth. I'm not angry at nobody. But it's just ridiculous. A lot of people think, oh, just because one thing, you know what I'm saying? It's okay I have some fun a little bit to build up some fan base. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Not even fan base. It's not for me. It's for God. But you know what? At the end of the day, I've been told by him I was a fisherman. I'm not the wrong fisherman. You can't tell me nothing. You ain't God. Understand, I believe in Jesus. I don't believe in, say, I don't like Satan, man. I don't like him. I know he attacks me all the time. You think I'm playing his game? Heck no, I'm not. Listen, he now, no. He said, God said, don't fear the evil. The, 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 the evil overcome a good. And I am. And I'm going to do exact that and always that. I mean, I read the Bible. I can read, you know what I'm saying? But do I have to put in every verse, everything I talk about? No. I'm a human. We all gonna mess up, but talking about like let's say for example, let us talk about how your day was, or let's talk about football. So you think I'm sinning? Okay, so you're gonna judge me for that, but you watch it yourself, or you whatever the case may be. You have you know saying you do your thing as a human. Why can't I? You don't see me go party out doing drugs. You see me with a sober mind. You see me doing it. Listen. <laughs> Do you see anybody around me, or do I pray right in a room with clothes behind doors, or whatever case be in my house? I don't really do nothing else. I don't really have people to you know communicate with. Understand that I've been building a relationship with God, the Bible. So you think I'm adding, but really I'm not. But you see, I do love women. I rather love women. You know, what I'm saying boobs and vagina and uh, everything else. They, you know, before you know, actually. You know what I'm saying? Another, the same sex or anything, but that's how I multiply. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Of course. But I don't go out flirting with every woman I see. No. I'm just a man. But when I'm, that's because I'm single. But you know what I'm saying? I'm human. I am not, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing how I'm supposed to. It's not to hate nobody, but it, it is what it is. And I could care less if they get mad, they like my post or anything. Your yeah, haters are the biggest things, whatever the case may be. The big your haters are the biggest are the biggest supporters you got. But then there's some people gonna like you, there's some people don't. He that's what's called humiliation, rejection. But I'm not gonna be depressed, I'm not gonna be here bowing down to nobody. I'm really not. It angers me. Or like it not it angers me. I hate when people hate when that acts because people do this of the flesh. They walk by um Sight, not by faith. I walk by faith all the time. And it sounds like sometimes people make poor excuses. People judge me at you all the time. So you saying I can't really live anything and walk on the excess, but you the one condemning me? No, I think God is the one that can condemn me. It's all about where I go, not you. Understand me. God... God has blessed me with the light just to wake up. If I was wicked, you know what I'm saying, I want to wake up. God, I declare in the name of Jesus, you know what? If I am wicked, you know what I'm saying, whatever case may be. If I am wicked, you know what I'm saying, I go to sleep the night, whatever the case may be. There are anything else in my thoughts. Just, you know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody, then the sense of better while waking me up then, Lord, to fulfill your purpose, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But I know I'm not wicked. I've been following you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I have repented and I have forgave. And, it's, and I know it's better, I understand it's better to not repent 99 times. It's easier to, which one's easier, forgive sins or get back up and walk. You know what I'm saying? So, Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that um, people that are hating, you know what I'm saying? Let, let them know. We're human. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. See, listen, we're all human. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's okay to sin, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. He said, which one's easier? Get up. Oh, wait. Forgive the sin or get up and go. But yeah, he didn't say it's right to sin, but you cannot beat yourself if you're not perfected. perfected. Nobody could beat you up because they have the stone. If you ain't doing right by what he said when he was living his real life, and also with the death of him, but actually appreciate what he's done in his life. 
and talk about what his good he's done in his life to help. He's he built actually tables for actually the kings that that were there when he was younger. He was like built them to eat on. Understand what he's done in his life. You know what I'm saying? Everyone just talks about his death and stuff like that. But what he's done in his life that's great. What is his stuff that he's done? Flipped over tables. He's done. He's he's gotten mad before. I understand. But I mean, but he is perfect. Yes, he is. But he's, you know what I'm saying? He's he learned, he growed, he's done everything else. But he knew the father, yes, and he is the leading way. He's the only key. But understand that, you know, even life, you know what I'm saying? He said, us, we're not perfect. We're not. There's a difference. He will always be Jesus. He will always be that one that nobody. He will be Yeshua, Yahweh. He will always be, you know what I'm saying, of God. You know what I'm saying? He will always be that. You know what I'm saying? We're the ones that came born of sin because we came in this world unperfected and making mistakes and all of that. Whether you like it or not. But I'm not going to hear tell you what you guys want to hear. I'm going to tell you what, is what you need to hear. So in the church, it doesn't matter if you're a suit, tux, or tie. You come at you come as yourself. It's not okay to walk dr drunk and, and, you know what I'm saying, walk drunk in the spirit. You have to walk... You know what I'm saying? Sober. You know what I'm saying? You could drink, but don't get silly with it. Understand there's a difference.